For years, the MOBA community has fought over which is better, League or Dota 2. But in the end, neither won, for a new powerful foe emerged. It was just another PUBG clone. This game's gonna die in a few days, everyone thought. But as time passed, people realized it was free to play, so no one played PUBG anymore. And games only lasted 10 to 20 minutes. You could also leave whenever you wanted. No one was forcing you to play when you didn't feel like it. TSM abandoned its people and switched to Fortnite. Out with the old and in with the new, they said. But MOBA fans, we must ban and together. League of Legends needs Dota 2 and the other way around, for competition inspires greatness. Ninja does not have to be in the title of every video just so it will get views. And so I begin the process of uniting the League and Dota community one video at a time. So in this series, I'm going to play a League Champion and the Dota hero that most resembles it, and I'll try to compare them both and kind of teach you guys how to play them. The League account I'm going to play on is Plat2 with a horrible win loss. Long story short, I can't play on stream. I would do a fresh League account, but I don't want to rebuy all the champions. And the Dota 2 account I'm going to play on is an unranked account starting at around 2k MMR. I'm going to try to fit both gameplays into one video, but I might have to stretch it out over two videos. So for runes, I opted for press the attack. Whatever I'm hitting will take more damage from my teammates. Next, I went for Celerity and Water Walking. Celerity gives more movement speed and extra damage the more movement speed you have and water walking gives more movement speed and damage in the river and they have really nice synergy together the cool thing about udir is that you take like literally no damage from these camps okay, i'm not level three i'll do the big raptor and then i'll get level three maybe i should just do them all oh, the mundo sold the irelia everyone's probably coming for the mundo yep coming she flashed me or something oh no dang I might be able to kill this Evelyn, actually. <laughs> Hopefully, I can kill her. Oh, I flashed it! But it actually didn't really... <laughs> it didn't really do anything that I flashed the thing, because she just... She ended up charming me anyways. But it looked kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to take her blue. Award here. And then I'll probably be able to take this Grom, too. Okay, nice. That was good. Actually, I'm gonna invade this too. Might as well. Yeah, that one's here. I wish I had. F oh, I do have some mine in eight seconds. Zeras here, but he has no mana. Four seconds on smite. Apparently, she doesn't have it up. Oh, she does have it up. Am I gonna die here? <sighs> oh my god. Oh, that, that hit, I was dead. She doesn't have flash, I don't think. I definitely misplayed that pretty hard. The Tiger Udir, you want to rush a Tiamat, I believe, because if you don't have a Tiamat, doing these camps is really difficult. They're gonna fight. I'm gonna try to gank this. Oh God, this is like an all-in. Oh no. Oh no, I was late, but I might still be able to get her. I think I got her. I don't think she, she didn't ward, she's dead. I wish I kind of had my blue smite though. She's dead. Nice. Okay, that was fine. I wish I was there a little earlier. This guy's pinging me off the wave, like. I could have pushed that out and he could have saved his teleport, but I don't know, he's pretty tilted. He got solo killed. Evelyn got two kills apparently, so she's gonna be kind of even with me, if not ahead. I think I'm beating her by a lot in farm. I want to go for my red because it just spawned and Evelyn might be going that way. Okay, that guy's tilted, dude. Now he doesn't have teleport because he wasted earlier. Now if he had teleport, he could take this wave. As a top laner, if you can hold your teleport, it's always best too. Because you never know when you're going to need it. Can he dodge? Oh. I'm going to smite that just because I want the HP because I'm going to have to soak mid. I want to be pretty healthy to soak it. I'm maxing my turtle. I used to max my E, but I think it's just not as good as maxing turtle. This guy's gonna pressure me. Like right now I can just soak that and it did like no damage to me. Cause I maxed my W. So like this guy wasted teleport again. I don't know what's with these people wasting your teleports. Cause like what if he gets ganked now, he dies, then he won't have teleport. And I probably won't even be there to soak the wave. That's the thing. I was there to soak that wave. I'm gonna go for mid. This guy's no mana. Um, they know I'm here though. Evelyn's in this river cause she just killed the Grom. She just killed the turtle, so she's here. Can bot collapse? Oh, they're collapsing. Whatever, I'll just flash. 
I got a lot. There's a lot of collapsing there. Like, they're mid collapsed. Am I dead? Holy crap. That was insane, dude. I'm gonna go Merc Treads and then I'm gonna go Blue Smite. And then I'm gonna go Cinder Hulk, probably. We need a tank. We have Mundo, but he's tilted. I kind of want to go to my Wraith camp, but I think top's more important right now. Also, I have Merc Treads, so I'm pretty good against Evelyn right now if she does counter gank. I don't really know how useful Mundo's gonna be here, but he does have armor against her. So this is actually okay. I think we got her. Nice, good. One thing I don't do enough when I'm jungling is get pinks. It's really good because you're constantly ganking and you can really do a lot with pink wards. See, our bot lane's pushing up, so I might want to be there. Evelyn just took my wolf camp pretty recently. And then, yeah, and then she just took that. The problem is that I did show right there. I didn't have to to see that. I'm just going to counter gank this because I have nothing else to do right now. Do they see me here? They don't know I'm here. I don't think those creeps should have attacked me. I'm pretty sure. My red's going to be up in six seconds. I think I want to go for that. I want Cinder Hulk. I got it. Nice. I want a pink ward as well. Hope that Evelyn didn't counter me there. I'm pretty sure she didn't know I was in this bush. If she did, then she could counter my red easily. She probably took my red and she's probably getting a top right now. She took my red and she's here. I knew it. I can probably counter this anyways, even if he dies. Wish on my flash though. If I have my flash, I could definitely kill this. She doesn't hear, I'm pretty sure. No, she doesn't. I can still counter this, I think. Oh no. I'm dead. I'm pretty tanky though with Cinder. She missed her thing. Oh no, jeez. Oh jeez. Okay, I'm good. We forced her TP too. I don't know why that guy TP'd. I'll smite this for the HP. Oh, the Mundo's coming. I'm gonna kill this thing first, though. Okay, I'm coming. That one's probably not here, I would assume. I don't know why Swain TP'd. That was a waste. We can kill both of them without him, probably. Mundo can definitely solo that guy, I think. Well, it's whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna max my E here. I already have enough ranks on my... Th uh, my uh, oh, God. I have flash up in... <sighs> oh, no. Wow, that's unfortunate. You guys saw I used my TM at, but I was just barely out of range. Evelyn, I guess, didn't take my red. I guess she had her own red. Right, I'm gonna go mid, push this out really fast. Because the Swain's top. I really like maxing turtle stance because it makes you infinitely tankier as Udyr. Swain should not be there, but he got caught. At least, yeah, there's nothing we do about that. Could probably do Herald. Like, they might back. They might just not know I'm doing it. Oh, God. Elwin just solo kill our Zaya, I think. Hmm. I killed her earlier. Got her. That's good. Mundo's going ham. Nice. Mundo's going in, dude. Can we get this guy too? No. That's definitely Harold, though. That was really, really good. That went from like one person dying to us killing three of them. Definitely glad I did not go for Harold there. Alright, I'm going Harold now. Actually, I'm gonna counter jungle her first. I'd rather just take her camps and go Herald, because that's gonna really make her mad. Oh, the Mundo started the Herald. That's good. I think I'm just gonna push out top then, because I don't know if we need two people to do it. Although, maybe I should just be here. I can do some damage to it, and if they do come, it's probably good that we have Smite on it. I don't know if Mundo wants it. I guess I'll take it. I'm gonna push out mid really fast. All right, I'm gonna back. I think I'm gonna grab Titanic Hydra here, and then I'll probably go for, like, a Dead Man's. They do have a lot of magic damage, though, so I don't know if I should go for Dead Man's. Maybe Spirit Visage first, and then I'll finish, like, my Chain Vest, just so I have some armor. Let's help them clear this. Okay, I think we just give that up. Oh, the turtle, I'm really tanky. Nice. And we got Harold too. I think we might want a Baron. I think we might want a Baron. We can Baron totally. This is good. I love being the jungler because I can call Barons. This is a situation where like my team wanted to go mid, but I pinged the Baron and I'm the jungler. So it's like on me if I miss the smite, you know? I love that. If you guys watched my Olaf video yesterday, there was two situations where my team just wouldn't listen to me to go to the Baron, and I knew 100% it was an easy Baron. And this item's actually really good, I think, but I don't think it works on Udyr because I have to cast my ultimate. Maybe I should go Knight's Foul or something. Good mid-game item. I think the mid-tier support items are actually pretty broken. You just gotta play around them. So whoever I'm near, I'll just kind of play around them, like this Swain, for example. If we just push together, me and him, I can Knight's Foul him. I'm not gonna use it yet because I'd rather not Knight's Foul the Swain because I think he's kind of a little bit special, but... Yeah, I'll just use it on him now because we're probably not going to have any other teammates nearby. Zaya got caught. 
It's wind drag up too. It's not really a big deal. We should probably just keep pressuring. This guy might be dead. I don't know about this one. I gotta let this guy die. Does he have zonias though? If he does have zonias. If he pops right now, it'd be really good. Maybe. Nope. Rakan's definitely dead. I'm just gonna run. Main thing in that situation is like if your teammates do get caught, just don't get caught with them. I got my Spectre's cow, so I do have some MR now. Alright, they're all fighting. This is good though, I think. I should use it on her. I use it. I, I might have saved it. No, I don't. Oh, I didn't get assist there because I thought I would because I Knights found her. But like, yeah, it makes sense that I didn't. Kinda. I should have used my E there to stun him. Okay, they're all dead, I think. Although, he does have the gate here, so I don't know if we can get past that. Can we get past it? Can I juke the stun? I juke the stun, and he's probably dead. So, I really is only level 13. She was beating the Mundo pretty hard, and now he's, like, completely out-leveling her. I think we... Okay, this guy's dead. Um... Hmm. Okay, I think they're all dead. That guy's dead, I think, to my bleed. Oh no, it's my first death. Oh. Oh, I got them both, dude. I almost got the other guy too. My turtle was up. Had I got my turtle off there, I think I would have been able to kill the Nami. I got a spear visage now, so I'm infinitely tankier. And for my last item, I think I might go Warmogs. There's a lot of choices though. Like I could go Dead Man's. Randoms would be good too, because I'm pretty sure Jinx has a lot of crit. Yeah, she's got a lot of crit. And so randoms would help that. And it would slow her attacks if she attacks me. I will get a giant spell now. I can kind of decide later. With randoms, it's more about just like all inning on a team fight. And with Warmogs, it's about like not really committing to an all in. Mudo's pretty tanky. I don't think he's dead. Hmm. It's a tower there, unfortunately. All nice about the Mundo. I might just be able to run over them, dude, honestly. Yeah, you missed that thing. The Swain used the slow. That was good. This guy's dead, I think. Oh my god, we're getting shredded, though, kind of. Oh, Evelyn's here. Okay, I gotta run. I'm just running. Oh, this guy knows I'm here. Oh my god, he did so much damage. I didn't even expect that at all. We're stalling though, I guess. That's good. Wow, if I would have turtled there. This guy does a lot of damage, dude. He's got a Lich Bane. That's a lot of burst. I'm gonna buy an Elixir of Iron for this next fight, because I think this is gonna be the last fight of the game. Oh, the yeah, Evelyn's dead. We can Baron. I think I just help a side wave push in by myself. Even though I do have Knight's Vow and I'm like good for a team fight. I think this is putting more pressure than me being with the team. Because like we do have a tank too, so it's not like they can just run over our team. With a Mundo, you kind of want to play s slow and like poke a bit. And with this, we're pressuring both sides. I think harder. Like they might get aced here, cause I'm not there. But I think I will be able to pressure this and maybe get their Nexus back door. Two people died. Yeah, I kind of I kind of thought that might happen. Like if they played a little bit safer, I don't think anyone should have died. But. They kind of committed, I think. Okay, this is good. We got two inhibs. Three people died. Like, we probably could have just ended. Okay, I might be able to actually just end this. We know it hits it. Nice, okay. <laughs> we didn't have to do that. Like, we could have just waited, but uh, yeah. Oh, this guy recognized me. Apparently my videos are so boring that they make this guy fall asleep.